Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Beige. If you are new here, welcome. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below. Give this video a thumbs up and leave a comment down below in the comment section so that I know you stopped by. Today's video is gonna be a tutorial on this wig that was sent to me from Hair Vivi. I'll have all of their information, the promo codes and direct links down below in the description box. Along with my wig, I also received an HD lace frontal repair kit. So in my repair kit, I received two needles, thread, pins, hair clips, fake scalp material, and a replacement 13 by two HD lace frontal. This will be a two part video. So if you're interested to see how I repaired the frontal, please keep watching. I also received Hair Vivi's new flyaway tamer. The wig that I'll be working with today is a 14 inch HD lace blunt cut bob with a cappuccino colored fake scalp. Straight out of the package, I was completely blown away by the fact that this wig looks so good. So good. Like I don't even have to do any customizations to it. I don't have to pluck it again. I don't even have to tint the lace. I don't have to do anything to it because it's already perfect. This wig is perfect for beginners because it's literally already done for you. And it's also perfect for people on the go. Busy people who don't have time to do the extra customizations that a lot of wigs require to make it look natural. So I am absolutely in love with this hairline, with the hair, with the hair quality, with the frontal, with everything about this wig. Because I will not be doing any extra customizing to the lace frontal, I'm just gonna go ahead and start styling. The first thing that I'm gonna grab is a light hair serum and apply it to the hair. Then I'm gonna grab my flat iron and begin to flat iron thin sections of hair. So now I'm gonna grab the flyaway tamer and smooth back the hairline of the frontal. Okay, so now it's time to install the wig. The first thing that I'm gonna grab is alcohol and clean my forehead. So after that, I'm grabbing scalp protector by Walker Tape and applying that to my scalp. Next, I'm grabbing the wig, lining it up and making sure that it's in its proper placement. Okay, so now I'm grabbing a pair of scissors and I'm gonna cut two slices in the extra lace of the frontal and this is gonna create three different sections. Pinning the left and right section out of my face, I'm going to pull the wig backwards so that I can focus on the hairline. Grabbing got to be ultra glue gel in the black tube, I am applying a thin layer to my front hairline and then I am going to blow dry it until it's tacky. Grabbing the extra lace on that section, I am going to pull it forward where I want it to sit and then I'm gonna grab the end of a rat tail comb and basically just push that lace into the tacky gel. I'm gonna follow those steps for the left and right sides of this wig and I'll come right back. This is by far one of the most natural looking lace frontal wigs that I've gotten straight out of the package. I did not do any extra customizing to this wig and it looks like I did. It's that perfect. Let's chat about this hairline down below in the comments. Having the flyaway tamer come in this mascara wand is like the most genius idea ever because it's so easy to use and it goes through each of the hair strands so seamlessly. So this is perfect for getting that extra glue out of your hair or any of that extra gel that may have um, gunked up on the hair. It's really good at removing that and smoothing down the baby hairs and the flyaways as well. Okay, so now I'm gonna cut off that extra lace by grabbing a pair of scissors and getting as close to the hairline as I can. Grabbing a razor blade and Gorilla Snot Gel, I'm gonna play with the baby hairs. Mm -hmm. 
15 minutes later, it's time to remove my headscarf and finish styling this hair. So today I'm gonna to do a half up, half down hairstyle. So the first thing that I'm gonna do is section off the top half of the hair and then I'm gonna clip it down with hair clips. Next, I'm grabbing a rubber band and putting it into a ponytail. After that, I'm grabbing a small tooth comb and teasing the hair just to make my bun fuller. One of the most common ways to have premature shedding of a lace frontal wig is to over pluck it or pluck it improperly. A common mistake made by beginners is holding the tweezer the wrong way. When you are plucking your frontal, you should never have the tweezer face downwards with the highest point pointing towards the lace. If you hold your tweezer that way while plucking a frontal, you will have holes in it, which will ruin the entire wig. Of course, there are other factors that can lead to ruining your frontal, but that is one of the most common ways amongst beginners. So this is the improper way to hold your tweezer while plucking, and this is the correct way. So I wanna share with you how I repaired my frontal by replacing the entire HD front section of it. I'm gonna turn my tweezer around the improper way, and I'm going to show you how easy it is to mistakenly put a hole in the lace of your frontal while plucking. Now that we have that hole, it's time to replace that HD lace by using the repair kit from Hair Vivi. So the first step is removing the fake scalp. I'm grabbing a seam ripper and carefully going along the seam and releasing it. So now I'm grabbing the replacement HD lace frontal. I'm placing it over the frontal that has the hole in it and I'm just going to make sure that it is properly lined up and then I'm grabbing the hairpins that came in the HD lace frontal repair kit and I'm gonna pin down the replacement HD lace frontal. Next, I'm grabbing the needles and thread that came in my package. I'm going to thread both of the needles and then I'm going to begin sewing the first seam of the lace frontal down. Okay, so now that I sewed down the first seam, it's time to sew down the second seam. I'll do that off camera to save time. So now that both of the seams are sewn down and the new frontal is connected to the old frontal, it's time to remove those hairpins. Taking the wig off of the mannequin head, there are now two different hairlines. 
One hairline has the hole in it and the other hairline is the replacement piece. I'm gonna separate the first hairline with the hole in it and I'm gonna grab my scissors and start to cut that hairline completely off. Before doing so, you wanna make sure that you are properly cutting the right lace frontal. So you wanna make sure that you grab the end of a rat tail comb and part and carve out that first lace frontal and have a very clear view of what you're doing while you're doing this. Grab your scissors and begin cutting that lace off. This will reveal our new hairline. Basically cutting as close to that seam as I can get it. My fingers are helping to lead the way. You wanna make sure that you're not cutting into the seam or that will unloosen what you just sewed down. And then I'm gonna grab my scissors and cut off any extra lace from the old hairline that I may have missed. So now we have a brand new wig. If your wig is balding for whatever reason, a lot of times people overprocess the knots when they bleach it, they overpluck, and it just gets old from normal wear and tear. So this is the perfect solution for getting a brand new looking wig without buying a brand new wig. And here is our new HD lace frontal hairline fully installed. If you have any questions, leave them down below in the comment section. I'll have all of the information down below in the description box about this hair kit from Hair VV, the wig that I was wearing, and all of the information that you may need down below. So don't forget to check it out. If you're new here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Please give this video a thumbs up and comment down below so that I know you stopped by. Let's chat about this new HD lace frontal replacement down below in the comment section. As always, thank you so much for watching and I can't wait to see you all in my next video. Bye guys. It's Bezosite. Yeah, that's right. It's Bezosite. Ay, ay.